I'm thinking maybe the polygraph test isn't such a great idea after all. Emily, this was your idea. I know, but those tests can be misleading, right? Yeah. I love you. And I'm in your corner. But if there's something you want to tell me... No, there's nothing. I have nothing to hide because I didn't do it. I know I didn't do it. Some happy new year. Oh, come on. It will be. Eventually, Emily will own up to what she's done. Well, I hurt him so much. He's gonna be fine. And he's a sweet kid. He's not like his older brother. He's not gonna hold a grudge. I hurt us too. You and me? No. No way. Indestructible. Look, I promise I'm going to make it up to Will, okay? And to you. Somehow. I promise. witness she volunteered to take the polygraph so there's no need to lean on her too hard okay all right is that one of the benefits of being married to the chief you get to keep love treatment every time you commit a crime what are you doing here paul i'm here to make sure that my kid brother because of emily's voluntary cooperation doesn't wind up getting indicted paul if you're implying that i would sell out my son to protect my wife you're full of it and I don't see any reason why you're here, so I suggest you leave. Because of Emily, my wife is constantly terrified. She wakes up every morning and braces herself for whatever sick reminder she's going to get that day of her dead baby. Because of Emily, my little brother doesn't trust me anymore, or Rosanna, or you for that matter. I know what's lost, Paul. Well, then how can you let her get away with it, huh? All I'm doing is trying to make sure that Emily gets a fair shake. Right now, she is scared out of her mind, and I do not want that polygraph machine reading that as guilty. Do you honestly think that she's not guilty? I honestly... I honestly think she deserves the benefit of the doubt, and I'm going to give it to her. Right. That's more than you gave Will. I've been trying to get a hold of you all morning. Cell phones have to be turned off in class. Uh, I'm on lunch break now. How's the first day back? Good? Yeah. Met some kids. Uh, they're pretty cool. Into the same music and stuff. I'll, I'll talk to you later. Whoa, whoa, whoa wait. Uh, Look, Rosanna and I found something last night, and I, I think we we really need to talk about it. What did you find? Well, a picture of you and me and Rosanna, or what's left of it. You threw it in the fire. Sorry. I'll tell you what, why don't, why don't you come by after school, and we'll all go out, get something to eat. What for? Well, we need to talk about you moving back in, for one thing. Uh, I'm OK staying with Aunt Kim and Uncle Bob. Fairwinds is your home was until everything blew up and i got the blame well I'm, I'm taking care of that you think dad's just gonna let emily take the rap for what she did he's gonna have to look will the important thing is that rosanna and i know the truth and we want you to know how sorry we are and we want you back no way don't say that paul i'm just facing facts anytime anything goes wrong in that house i'm gonna be the first place you look i hope you and rosanna have a great life but don't ask me to be in it well, honey, don't be nervous. It's just questions and answers. That's what worries me. I 
I've done some things in my life. Okay, but you'll be home before dinner. You should do what she asks. It'll be a long time before she gets to put her little boy to bed again. Emily? He's ready for you. Hal, you have to believe me. I didn't do anything wrong. Detective, are you sure about this? No! No! Listen to me. You cannot put your faith in some stupid test. Listen to me. You have to believe me. He did believe you. When you swore up and down that you were telling the truth, when you volunteered to take that lie detector hey, test hey, in the hey, first hey, place. You but you now? failed. Now lock her up, Hal, right now. I'll find somebody else who will. Emily's right there. Plenty of holding cells downstairs. You want to take it down and Put her under lock and key so she doesn't break into my house tonight and terrify my wife. What? What? I, I... What, you thought Will was guilty? Yeah, that's what Emily wanted everybody to think. Very clever way of trying to get rid of my kid brother. I didn't want to get rid of anyone. I love Will. Then how can the lie detector test says that you've been a very busy girl? Listen to me. You know this was a mistake. So what? I would never do this. The lie detector test is lying. Everybody's lying. You're the only one who's telling the truth. Is it possible there could have been a glitch in the machine? Stress. Emotional stress could have an effect on the results. She was very anxious. Well, of course she, of course she was anxious. She knew she was going to get busted for trying to set up your son. Why did she take the test to begin with? She volunteered to take the test. How? Because she, she figured that you would never take her up on it. Oh, for heaven's sakes, she could have backed out at any time. Why would she set herself up like that? I don't like know. That? Cry for help. She obviously didn't think she was going to get caught. Stop. Oh, Father, you just stop. Can I please just go home? Home? You think you're going home? After you... You tortured my wife with reminders of her dead son after you tried to make her think that she was losing her mind? I can't believe I would do this! Margo! Yeah, Emily, come on, let's go. Get some coffee, some peace. You get in my wife's face again, and you'll be the one begging for mercy. Do you understand? Up to uh, my office. Have a seat. I'll be right up. Okay. Hey, how's mm -hmm. Emily? Well, Emily wants to know when she can go home. Tell her 25 to life. Yeah. Paul, I'm not going to tell you this again. Stay out of I'm it. I'm already in the middle of this, Alan. If you don't arrest Emily now, knowing what you now know... Get your facts straight. A polygraph is not admissible in a court of law. It's circumstantial at best. It doesn't invalidate the results. She is innocent until proven Spoken guilty. like the husband of the accused. And words I have used to defend you in the past. Yes, yeah, but it didn't stop you from trying to find you the truth. You don't like the way I'm no, handling I this case? I don't like the way you're handling it. I think you're too close to it. I, think you I am looking for me. the truth, just like everybody we else. We already told you the truth. And he could be wrong. Well, you could be wrong, too. I'll prove I was telling the truth. You guys are yelling at each other so much, must mean Emily failed her lie detector test, huh? The results are still inconclusive. Well, then test me, Dad. I'm the only eyewitness. I'm the one who saw Emily at Fairwinds. Hook me up. I'll take the test. I'll give you your truth. There you go, Alex. You say you're looking for the truth. Here's a volunteer. So what are you going to do? All right. I'll have Langston set it up. What's up? I asked Will if he saw Mrs. Munson at Fairwinds on the night in question, if she was carrying a doll, and if, in fact, he was positive that it was Mrs. Munson. Yeah, and? Your son answered each question in the affirmative. Polygraph backed him up. Is that enough for you? Do you finally believe me? Love me. You know me. Not as well as you thought. You know I would never deliberately hurt an innocent woman. She was just a means to an end. No! You wanted to get rid of Will, so you tried to pin all this on him. No! Do this. Just... Look, I never claimed to be a perfect person. I've always owned up to my mistakes, but this is not one of them. I swear to God, it's not. You have got to believe me, please. Emma, I believe you. Okay, good. So we'll figure this out. I'll help you solve it, whatever it takes. Please, just baby, believe me. Baby, it's out of my hands. Out of your hands. What do, what, do you, what do you mean? What are you saying? I can't handle this case. You have to. I'm sorry. No. Oh, God, don't be sorry. You gotta help me. What is, what is he saying? Oh, 
Emily, we have an eyewitness. We have enough evidence to formally charge you with criminal no, trespass. No, no, honey. And entering harassment. No, Al, please don't go. Don't go. Your hands, please. Oh. 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 Emily Munson, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney and to have an attorney present during any and all questioning. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided by the court. Do you understand?